ng pag-harvest, kuminsan nakikita naman natin na hindi talaga alagang-alaga ang kanilang nagagawa. Ang hindi magandang pag-handle ng fruits and vegetables ay maraming na idudulot na hindi maganda. Malimbawa, magagasgas, or matutusok, or mapipisa. Tataas masyado ang ating post-harvest losses. Pagka nagpa-practice tayo no, sinasabi nating tamang pamamaraan ng handling or post-harvest handling, syempre, mas tataas ang magiging acceptable fruits. Ibig sabihin, tataas din ang income ng ating mga farmers. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng proyekto entitled Establishment of Network and Model Manual on Post-Harvest Technology of Horticultural Crops because ang gusto nating mangyari, mabawasan ang post-harvest losses. And of course, improve quality and safety of commodities through the development of manuals. Ang nag-fund ditong project na to ay yung Asian Food and Agricultural Cooperation Initiative, Rural Development Administration of South Korea, in cooperation with the Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Agricultural Research. The first step is the assessment of the uh, different handling systems of the various packing houses to know where the improvement should be. So based from this assessment, we develop manuals for the improvement no, on post-harvest technologies. Ang project na to ay nagumpisa noong 2012 natapos noong 2016. For the manuals, the first one was on tomatoes. The second manual is Chinese cabbage or the wombo. And the third one is banana. These were given to the local governments and then we also gave uh, manuals to uh, different libraries and of different schools and then of course uh, the regional offices of the Department of Agriculture. After the first project, second project was uh, started in 2016, and the title is the application now of the improved post-harvest handling of crops grown in the Philippines. And what we did was on banana. The variety that we uh, used was the uh, Bungulan variety, which is actually organic banana. Merong mga preliminaries activities na pumupunta ng, sa communities, sa banana, balangon communities. Then nag, uh, may mga focus group discussions with the growers all over the Philippines. No? Yung nag-bridge sa UPLD PHTRC. With the growers yung at the Trade Philippines, ang nakita po nila ay uh, yung losses, post-harvest losses. Nasa 26%, specifically dito sa Lake Cebu and then dito sa Tupi. So doon po nag-focus yung intervention ng ganitong study. The objective is really to try out the improved post-harvest uh, technologies on bungulan bananas. To minimize post-harvest losses and improve quality and safety of fruits. Yung intervention is uh, nag, una, nag-training, nag-conduct ng training sa mga growers. Hindi lang sa mga growers, kundi sa mga, mga field personnel ng Lake Cebu at ng Tupi on the proper handling. We also produce posters on the handling tips of bananas. So, what we did here was really to improve on the handling system of the cooperative of the small farmers. Ang pinakamagandang uh, recommendation ng taga UP tungkol sa pagtransport is paghandle ng banana is love and tender care. Sinabi rin na kailangan paggaroon ng cold storage ang tubaga kasi malaking tulong ito para ma-preserve yung 
quality ng banana at saka hindi masyado ma-export sa yung mainit kasi mabawasan yung timbang ng ating banana. So with the presence of our cold storage, na-maintain yung freshness ng banana. Before UPL became into the picture, we had some 20 to 30 percent rejects. Now, we have cut it down to less than 10 percent. It's uh, something very important for us. The reduction in Balangon rejects have uh, significantly impacted not only on our organization, but mainly on the Balangon growers. It means additional income for them. And they are so happy that with the aid and the assistance of uh, our partners, they have uh, earned more than they expected. Based sa experience ko, dapat talaga kailangan i, i sa puso talaga ng farmer na i handle ng maayos ang kanyang harvest. Ngayon, more or less mga 5% lang siguro ang aming red check dito sa pag-deliver namin. Kung may isa puso lang ng mga growers at saka ng workers ang magandang pag-handle ng uh, saging, malaki ang kikitain din. Kasi kung titingnan natin ang mechanical uh, loss doon sa tupi ay malaki na siya. Kung ma-decrease natin ito, magiging uh, dagdag kita sa mga growers. For some considerations in the proper handling, bananas should be harvested very carefully. They usually harvest it early in the morning so that they can uh, collect them and then it will be hauled to the packing house. After cutting, the fruit should not touch the ground. It should be carefully handled during hauling from the harvest area to the hanging pole. In the hanging pole, the growers use a specialized cutting tool which is called the, the handling scoop so that they will prevent mechanical damage on the sides of the banana hands. After that, they put them in crates, lined crates, and ethylene foam layer should be placed in between the hands so that they don't touch directly. And this is to prevent, of course, mechanical damage before they uh, bring them to the packing houses. When they stuck in the crates, you have to make sure that they don't overstock. Otherwise, the top crate will cause mechanical damage. So it is very important. They have to leave some space. After harvest, the commodities should not be exposed directly under the sun. It should be covered with, like for example, bamboo leaves or net if they use the top-down vehicle. At the packing house, the harvested fruits are uh, placed in the washing tank for cleaning and then they are also being sorted and they are washed several times. They are also trimmed. What they do is they trim the crown, the upper portion of the fruits. After that, they will weigh it up to about 13.5 kilograms per carton box. They put liners in between hands so that they don't touch each other because if they directly touch, then that would be a cause also for mechanical injury. After that, they put on the cover of the boxes and they are temporarily stored in one part of the packing house. But if they have the air-conditioned room, they have to put it there until the trucks come and transport them to the port for them to be shipped for the export market. So they have to stack it, making sure that they don't crush the cartons at the bottom. They provide stronger or sturdier carton boxes they can stock about seven carton boxes. 
During transport, it would be very good if they would be able to use refrigerated trucks. But if that is not possible, what they can do is they can uh, transport during nighttime when temperature is lower. For those who are interested of getting uh, e-copies of the manuals, they can contact me at Post Harvest Horticulture Training and Research Center, College of Agriculture and Food Science, University of the Philippines, Los Baños. We would like to thank our partners in the completion of this program, Alter Trade Philippines and the cooperatives of Lake Cebu and Tobaga in Tupi, and then also Bureau of Agricultural Research of the Department of Agriculture, and of course, AFASI IDA of South Korea. I hope with this project, we will be able to really uplift the industry, not only the banana industry, but the horticultural industry as a whole by minimizing or reducing post-harvest losses. As I have been saying, we live by the slogan, reduce post-harvest wastage so that we could feed more people.